Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer, and Happy New Year. What does 2023 hold? Well, I know for sure right now the atmospheric river is one thing it holds all the way through 1.9, maybe even 1.10, but it's a very different animal after about 1.4, 1.5. The, the flow turns quite choppy through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, but some of the biggest totals are going to occur in California especially. Some, some degree Washington and Oregon with a moderate surge of uh, atmospheric river intensity coming in 1 4 and 1 5. And wait till I show you that storm system. Um, but I want to show you this. This is really something out of Mammoth Mountain. They're rep reporting 32 to 40 inches of new snow and 22 degrees. So the temperatures come down. But look at their warning heavy wet snow will cause major delays in chairlift openings. And they talk about snow immersion suffocation, SIS because of the very deep snow. This is a real thing. So um, they just got a lot of snow, Mammoth, Tahoe, out of this thing. So uh, let's keep that in mind. But look at the setup. Lime green is your pineapple connection. Big low hitting the Pacific Northwest right now. The big low behind it in the North Pacific, that becomes the 1415 storm with moderate intensity IVT for California, 1415 but it also turns the flow choppy. I talked all about this on my blog this morning. What does 2023 hold? Um, take a look at it at christomer.com. Um, there's the setup. We talked about that. Let me show you the jet pattern. So this is 110. Notice how choppy the jet is. It's not that perfect uniform west-east flow that we were dealing with for so long. In fact, look at the ridge. Some ridge stress through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. That's going to cut down on future accumulations on or after 1-4 where the flow becomes choppy through the Intermountain West. While the snow, the snow may be very deep in California, it becomes much less consolidated by the time it reaches Utah, Wyoming, California on or after 1-4. Um, so back to the blog. Let's look at timing. Um, here is the forecast, radar, and satellite. All right, here's Monday morning at 6. A lot of snow moving through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, northern New Mexico, and then it's gone. And then some just little waves of snow moving through. Here comes the big storm, 1-4 to 1-5 west coast. But by the time it moves into the interior, it loses a lot of steam. And there's the end on 1-6 of the animation. So take a look at that. All right, back to the blog into the forecast totals. Phase 1 for the west is this, 1-1 one, one through 1-3, one, um, potentially another 18 to 19 inches in the Wasatch. In fact, let me show you how that plays out. Uh, back to the blog, there's a whole section I did right here on the forecast snow timeline for the Wasatch, where we got another 13 to go today into tonight. Um, so big powder, if you can get up there, I know that Little Cottonwood is closed right now for avalanche mitigation. Three tomorrow, another three on the third, and then it kind of comes in, in the trickle, and a small trickle. There's two on the fifth and five on the sixth, and that might be it for a while with the ridge stress and the choppy jet. So take advantage of the snow here in the next few days. Um, but again, that's in the blog. Take a look at it. And I would really appreciate it if you would go in and subscribe. Just put your email address, hit subscribe right there, and you'll get a confirmation. I would really appreciate it. All right, so back to... The totals, there it is, 1-1 one, one through 1-3. One, Big stuff yet to come down in Colorado, especially the western slope down into the southwest mountains, 1 to 2 feet in those areas, less east of Vail. Um, so that's period 1. Here is period 2, 1-4 through 1-10. Immediately you notice there is a distinct difference between California, the Pacific Northwest, and what's happening in the interior. The interior is suffering as a result of the choppy jet. So you're looking at generally three to seven, three to eight inches through Colorado, Wyoming, Utah as a result of that choppy jet stream. Um, it's still obviously some accumulation, but it's, you know, I mean, that's a six day period. Um, but that's going to be a big period, uh, 1415 in California. All right, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the Northeast. Um, so not a lot happening here. There's a storm on 13, mainly rain. It's probably rain part of 1-4 and then it goes over to snow 1-4 into 1-5 and you'll get some of this accumulation and there might be a clipper with some light accumulation very late in the period as well but really the action is out here uh, in the west across the west through 110. Alright so that's going to do it for this update on the first day of 2023 guys 
Always appreciate you tuning in here. Just wanted to thank you for that, for all of your uh, commitment to this blog and these videos over the last year. Thank you and take care.